This video has been funded through an educational grant from Biocon Biologics Limited. Biocon Biologics Limited has no input towards the content of the interview or the video. The 2024 EADV Congress, held between the 25th and 28th of September in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, covered a range of topics in dermatology and venereology. It attracted healthcare professionals and industry specialists. The topic of plaque psoriasis was featured in six sessions, spanning 56 presentations and 346 e-posters. Dr. Thrasivalos Tselos of Nordland Hospital Trust, Norway, spoke with us following the conference to discuss his thoughts on what is missing in the next generation of plaque psoriasis care. When it comes to plaque psoriasis treatment, uh, I cannot think of one patient uh, uh, from my patients, and I have a lot of patients with plaque psoriasis working in Norway, that we did not manage to find a treatment that uh, was effective. So now we have so many options, so many opportunities, so many different classes and uh, possible mechanisms that uh, uh, it is very difficult not to find a, a treatment uh, that would be effective. Uh, I was amazed by uh, the number of people uh, uh, e-posters when it comes to oral agents. So I was amazed of the uh, many efforts uh, uh, using oral agents, especially when it comes to TIC2 inhibition. Uh, for example, for uh, SOTIC2 deocravacitinib, uh, there was a big number of posters uh, investing on showing the effect on difficult to treat areas like uh, scalp, uh, uh, palmoplantar psoriasis, uh, nail psoriasis, uh, uh, and uh, also the long-term efficacy and safety. Uh, I saw the, the, the efforts regarding uh, a similar uh, treatment, uh, zazocitinib, uh, which is practically an oral tick to inhibition. And uh, so uh, I see a lot of, the, of course, for the classical drugs, uh, uh, the, the typical biologic agents from uh, risankizumab and uh, other interleukin-23 inhibitors and uh, ebimekizumab and other interleukin-17 inhibitors. We saw more and more data for the long-term uh, efficacy, uh, for the uh, effect on uh, many other uh, important uh, patient-reported outcomes and symptoms for the disease. So... Uh, uh, Practically, uh, I think that there is a trend for oral treatments, uh, and uh, it seems that the regulatory authorities as well treat uh, a TIC2 inhibition, uh, not like JAK inhibition, so we have not seen any important safety signals uh, or any uh, worries from the regulatory authorities. Uh, and I think that there will be a lot of... Uh, 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 movement around this, around this concept.